Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's day five. All right. Cinco. You missed day four for school. How was it? School? It's the worst. Don't stay in school, kids. Very I know that's <laughs> contradictory to previous information that I have given in these videos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so for our Friday, we're starting. We're, we're ending our week with a big bottle, I suppose. We are drinking Ninkasi Dawn of the Red. Red IPA. Hey, where's your sign? Oh, yeah. Because she, she knows who I am and things that I would I'm enjoy. I'm vaguely familiar. From her job, she got me this. The Ninkasi logo. Get yeah. lit. So we're drinking one from them. Very excite. Let's, uh, let's get in on this. Bottle cap matches the logo in the background. Yeah. All right, guys, Dawn of the Red. That's, uh, that's what it looks like there. Cloudy. So this is Dawn of the Red from Ninkasi's flagship series. Um, the IBUs are at 66. So I think it's the highest um, oh. IBUs we've had. 7% alcohol. Uh, it's available year round. This isn't um, uh, a seasonal beer, but Dawn of the Red sounds like Dawn of the Dead, the movie. I personally enjoy it, plus this dope ass art. So it had to be on this list. Um, it comes in a whole bunch of the, this big bottle uh, on draft, a bunch of places, six pack, 12 ounce bottles. It, it all good. Um, on the website, it actually put food pairings for this beer. So if you're going to be eating with it, they recommend chicken, seafood, burgers, spicy cuisine like Thai or Mexican, hit me, fish tacos, or savory French toast. Ooh, fish to what? Savory uh, French toast. Yuck. In case you guys need a breakfast beer. They also have a SoundCloud song for this. I don't know if we're allowed to play it, so we're not going to, but... Some of the titles include songs such as... Yeah, uh, let's see. Volcab Company. Was all something with Vol? Spritz people. Vocab Company, sorry. Vocab. Sapient. Haunted Summer. Ooh. Tyler Fortier. Fortier? Sure. Fortier. So like I said, this Why is from not? the flagship series. They have Seasonal Release, Goddess Collection, Wide Acre and archived beers. All right, so let's give, give this a whiff. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, it it is not um, subtle with smell at all. You this smells like like beer. Like very very just like I don't know a very present smell. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, when I think of beer, I think of wheat. Mm -hmm. Wheat beers, you know, like a Blue Moon or, you know, I don't really think of an IPA because IPAs are known to be more bitter and hoppy. So, like, the beer smell and an IPA smell are two different things to me. And this definitely smells like an IPA. How you doing, pal? <laughs> it makes your mouth feel like. What is the what is the benefit of this? I like it. <laughs> I mean, that's nice. That's delicious. What is the benefit? I like it. <laughs> and that's always a plus. I don't really know what I was saying. Just this tastes really bad. Well, Not good. on the bottle, it says bursting with tropical notes. Oh no. This red IPA captures the bright complexity of El Dorado and Mosaic hops. An assertive hop presence is carried by subtle caramel backbone, unearthing a beer that is flavorful and juicy. Oh god. So, just, I, I think, a fun fact. I don't know, I, I doubt you'll 
agree with me or at least understand. I don't know. You, you might understand what I'm saying, but like only because you don't drink IPAs, mm -hmm. so like you might, like they all just might taste the same to you. Mm -hmm. But um, this isn't like your average IPA. It, it's got like, you, um, for people who like red beers, um, giving it the red, um, the red color gives it like, I think the flavor too of a, a little bit of a red beer, but it's definitely got the punch of an IPA. Are you gonna finish this glass? Absolutely not. It tastes like, like, it's not even pleasant. Like, it's making my mouth dry. You good, my dude? Like, it's making my breath smell. I mean, don't, don't most drinks give you a little alcohol breath? No, it, this is like, it tastes like, like old cigarettes. Oh my god. So, how many skulls you give in it? Ugh! I, do I have to give it any? A one, I guess? I or... guess, alright, so we, maybe we should probably set the rule then. It has to get at least one skull for all beers. Can't give them none. We gotta give them something. Fine. One simply for existing and bringing happiness to others, even though it's not me. One, one spoopy Steve. One spoopy Steve. I'm gonna give it four. <laughs> I like IPAs. I do. I dig the bitter flavors. Um, I, I don't. I, it's like I said. It's not an average IPA flavor, so it stands out to me, and I think it. I think it's worth the purchase if you see it at the store or at a restaurant or you know anywhere. I think it's worth buying if you haven't tried it yet. Check it out. It's pretty popular um, among the uh, the IPA community. I get, I don't know. People, yeah. Yeah. People this is who... definitely a popular brand and a popular mm -hmm. choice from this brand. Um, fun T-shirt time. I got Baphomet on my shirt. Leave it at that. Yeah. It's themed. I'm not for, wearing for spooky time. Yeah. I'm not wearing a fun shirt, I'm just wearing a sweater, but my hat's fun. Yeah. It says, what does it say? It says, be nice or leave, which I think definitely applies to the internet, so take that uh, mm -hmm. as you will. This hat is from my place of employment, House of Blue Xana. And y'all can pay us too. So, back to our rating. Four spoopy skulls, one over here. Since it's day five, we might as well, because I like multiples of five, let's get a um, a favorite of the past five days. So I can't, you can't really rate um, Dogtoberfest because you weren't here for it. But, so the past beers that we've had was Sam Adams Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. Wake Up Dead, Asylum, and now Dawn of the Red. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think that's difficult because I would drink all of them. I mean, except for this abomination. Oh my God. Um, I'm really sorry to this brand too. I mean, like, I'm sure you're a nice person and stuff, and like, obviously there's value in your product. It's just not my deal. So, um, except for today, I think I would drink each of the other beers, like. I think the one I would probably order multiple times is Asylum. Okay. I think. Or Oktoberfest. Because both of those had like good drinkability. I don't like to drink a ton of porters just because, or stouts, um, just because they're dark and they stain your teeth. So I would like have one in a flight or have one glass of one just to like try it, but I wouldn't drink dark beer throughout the night like even mm -hmm. if I even when I drink Guinness I just have one and then I'm like <sighs> okay <laughs> I think it would be something that like if I were to get at a bar and want to drink consistently throughout the night would be either the Oktoberfest or Asylum all right so okay, what is your favorite this one this one's definitely my favorite from um the five we've had so far. 
Um, drinkability. What are you giving this? This? Like, a, nothing. No <laughs> drinking. Don't drink this. You know what? That's not fair. Again, like, I don't want to say don't drink this because it's not that it's bad. Clearly, if you have the palate for it, this is fantastic. So I don't want to say, like, oh, it's poison. Don't drink it because, like, that's heavily biased. So, yeah. Drinkability for me personally is a zero. And I think for people coming from the liquor store beer market of, you know, Bud, Coors, Corona, whatever, would you enjoy this? It's really hard to say because it's going to be so different from anything you've ever had before. You either have my reaction or hers. Yeah. I, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's a fair thing to say. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard that... I think IPA is very, like, love-hate for most drinkers. For me, I'm going to say drinkability. Like, I have to agree again. For me, drinkability, it's relatively easy to drink. If I was drinking this all night, it would get really hard to, only because it is a higher percentage beer. So, like, as, you know, you start to get more buzzed and then drunk eventually, like, it's just going to get harder to get down because of that big punch flavor and how bitter it is but like, like exactly what you said um people like me you know like, who enjoy the ipa flavor who dig the bitter beers um relatively easy to drink but yeah i mean it is very uh situational is that a good word to use situational user preference thanks for um for watching this having a drink with us hope you dig it or at least have an opinion. Um, Let us know those opinions. Yeah, I like to know the, the opinions. Just because it's interesting to see what the difference is and what people have to say and what we like and what we don't like. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let people know to watch this. Hopefully they find something they dig. Or if they, got a, if they have a suggestion, you know, you guys can shoot it our way. They can shoot it our way. Um, we're, always, we're always hyped to to try a new drink or try a new food or anything so you guys know of any spooky bars or something cool spooky drinks at a bar let us know we want in please feel free to follow my youtube channel my blog missally.com we'll put a little i'll put it in the, i've been putting it in the description it's in the description yes um and then all of my social media is the same handle, Miss under that's not it, Miss A L underscore L E I G H. If you're interested in more of my fabulous, non-controversial and contradictory opinions, it's a good time, guys. The internet's a fun place. Something like that. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out, guys. Stay savage. <laughs>